Hey y'all, welcome to this video. Uh, it's going to be a pretty short one. In this we are just going to see a feature of the GGL Mesh, which is often, it's not so used, it's often overlooked, which is the index array input of the GGL Mesh, which is the input on the far right of the GGL Mesh. This one here, matrix index array. So what is actually an index array? Well, in OpenGL, there is this thing called an index buffer, which basically allows you to reuse the same vertices to create shapes instead of creating new vertices. For example, let's say that I want to connect these, uh, the vertices 0, 1, 4 and 5 with a square. And then I want to connect the vertices 5, 6, 1 and 2 with another square. Now, if I will not use an index array, I should create new vertices in place of 5 and 1, because these two vertices would overlap, but will be technically two different ones. Instead, using an index array, I can basically connect, uh, use the same vertices and just specify which indices should connect to each other. So in max, this means basically our vertices are contained inside the matrices, right? This is how we create uh, GGL mesh shapes. We connect a matrix into its first input and the matrix contains all the vertices that then create the shape. For example, in this case, I'm just creating um, a plane using simply the S norm object to create the uh, coordinates that go between minus one, one, and then create so a plane. Now, I could draw this plane in several ways. So, for the moment, the plane is not appearing. I'm just visualizing the vertices as dots using another GGL mesh. This is the one responsible for the points. And as you can see, I've numbered the vertices as they are numbered uh, in the index array because uh, those indices are, in fact, the index of the vertex inside the index array. So... This index is actually also how the vertices are ordered inside the matrix that contains them. For example, this vertex here with index 0 is in fact the first vertex on the bottom left of the matrix. For example, if I connect this here, sorry, no, if I connect this here, we can see that the first vertex um, here on the matrix is the one that is as minus 1, minus 1, which is exactly this vertex here, number 0. And then uh, they go in this order. So they go uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6, 7, and then they get uh, unrolled in this order. So even if this is a two-dimensional matrix, a matrix, the vertex array is going to be a one-dimensional uh, uh, matrix because the vertices have an index that is uh, represented by a single number. It's, not going, it's never going to be a 2D index matrix. Okay, because the vertices have all one single index, it's not like this is the index uh, 1, 1 and this 2, 1. No, they always have just a single number to represent the index. Now, how can we use this thing? For example, let's say that we want to draw our shape as lines, okay? So let's say, for example, that we want to connect the index 0 with the index 1. Very easy. So what do we do? We go inside, this is our JIT uh, matrix um, for the index array. So this is our index array matrix. And we want to use this to specify which indices should connect to which other indices. If we don't specify it and we just do it automatically, this is how automatically the object is going to connect them. It's going to connect its index 0 with the index 1. Ah, let's actually draw lines. Index 0 in the index 1, then it's going to connect the index 2 with the index 3, and so on. 4 and 5, 6 and 7, because this is just how it will do it by default. We just put the vertices one after the other. So there is already an index array inside the object. It's just, uh, the, just the indices are just put one after the other. So they are basically laid like that. Shink, I said, oh, no, and so on. So in case we are drawing the shape with lines, it's just going to connect the vertices as they are um, indicated by the indices. So the 0 with the 1, the 2 with the 3, and so on. Now let's say that we want to con uh, connect the index uh, 0. Instead of connecting with the index 1, uh, we want to connect it with the index, uh, for example, 5. So what do we do? Uh, we know that the first index is already set at 0. Okay, because this is just how it's done by default. So let's go at the index 1. And let's give it the value 5, actually. 
Uh, actually, we don't need another... Oh, I don't know why I was using another inlet, there's actually no need for it. So let's say that we now go at the index one, we set the value 5 for the index one and bang this matrix out. Okay, cool. So now the uh, the index array, so the index matrix is, is been uh, completely overridden and it's full of zeros. So basically it's all uh, the vertex, the, the vertex within that zero is represented by the number zero. Uh, but it's not connected with anything else, it's just connected with itself basically. So uh, the only connection we made is between the index zero and the index five. Now let's go to the third index, so index number two. And let's say we want to connect this, for example, with the number 6. Then I bang here, and now it's connecting the 6 and the 0, because this is just how the, how the lines mode work. It always connects two vertices um, after each other. So the first two, then the 3 and the 4, then the 5 and the 6. So in order to connect the number 6 with, for example, the number 5, we have to go to the next index and put here the number 5. Okay, cool. And now we are connected the index 6 and the index 5. Uh, let's make another example. Let's go to the next vertex and let's connect the next vertex, for example, with the number 15. And now it's connected 15 with 0. So let's connect it, for example, with 9. So let's go on the next index because we have to fill basically all the indices. So it does make sense to skip some indices. Let's just, we just go... Um, Next index inside the matrix, we fill it with the next index uh, of the index array. And uh, we say we wanted the number 9 here. Boom. Okay, cool. So basically we are filling all the index, all the cells inside the index matrix with the indexes of the vertices we want to connect. And this works according to the draw mode we are using. And... If we, if we Google OpenGL draw mode and go into images, we can see actually how this stuff works. Uh, these images are also inside the Max documentation, by the way. So, for example, we know that if we want to connect lines, they are connected together using uh, two vertices. If you want to connect triangles together, for example, they are connected using three vertices. So, let's actually give it a try with triangles. Uh, already connected them, but let's do it from scratch. So let's connect, for example, the vertices 0, 1, and 4. So just so we get a bit more practice about this. So for example, the index 0, so the cell 0 of this matrix, I set it to index 0. Now the cell 1, I will set it to index 1. Okay, cool. Now the cell 2, I'm going to set this to index 4, so we connect these uh, three vertices as a triangle. Very well. If I will not be using poly mode 1, 1, this will be uh, simply a field triangle. So let's try. Exactly. So if we don't use poly mode uh, 1, 1, it's going to fill simply the triangle. Now, uh, let's create, for example, another triangle that connects the vertices 4, 5, and 1. Now, this is the power of the index array. I, I don't have to recreate other vertices that are in the same place as this one. I can simply use those ones and connect them with the new vertex number 5. So let's go into the other index. Uh, let's uh, say this is going to be the index uh, number 1, the vertex number 1. Let's go to the next cell. Let's say this is going to be the number 5. Exactly. Let's go to the next one and say this is going to be number 4. So now create another triangle that connects 1, 5 and 4. Uh, let's make another example. Let's connect, for example, 5, 15 and 14. So let's go on one and say 5. And let's go on another one and say 15. And let's go another one and say... Uh, let's go another one and say 14. Okay, cool. So we connected these three vertices together. Now, as you probably already understood, you can specify those uh, vertices, uh, also this index array, you can create it uh, procedurally, for example. Or we can create it, uh, uh, for example, just manually by storing some vertices inside a call, for example. For example, if you go into quads, uh, I stored some, uh, so let's set back everything to zero. Okay, so I store some indices inside this call and they get recalled. Here, when I press this bang here, these indexes get recalled. So for example, the index in the matrix number zero is going to be the index zero. The index in the matrix number one is going to be the number one. The index number two in the matrix is going to be the index five, the vertex number five. 
and then the index uh, number three is going to be the vertex number four okay and then creates this quote and then create another quote uh, let's try for example with another quote so i field seven ver eight vertices let's connect for example eight nine thirteen and twelve so let's go into the add uh, cell number eight of the index matrix and set it to eight exactly now let's go to cell 9 and set it to 9 then let's go to cell 10 and set it to 13 let's go to cell 11 and set it to 12 and we got another quad very cool very cool i'm sure you can find a lot of useful uh, creative uh, applications for this uh, now that hopefully you understood how this actually works um, hopefully i was clear enough one cool thing that i didn't mention yet is that the index array matrix doesn't need to be the same dimension as the matrix that generates the shape the matrix that contains the vertices okay this could be whatever dimension for example 100 uh, but then be careful because you need to recreate the ggl mesh before you start to modify the the index array matrix again and then you can have as many connections as you want for example i could have now another quote and then have as many quotes connected together as i want okay so this is cool with the same amount of vertices we can have as many different connections as we want that's another cool thing that the index array uh, matrix allows us to do um, if you're wondering how did i number those cells i'm simply using the cell um, the cell that comes from GitGen, so the actual index of the cell, I'm simply using it as a text for the GGL uh, text object. So in case the matrix is two-dimensional, I just convert the two-dimensional coordinates to a single-dimensional coordinate uh, using the, the usual method, which is to get the um, X coordinate, sum it to the Y coordinate multiplied by the X dimension. This is kind of the classic way you do that. And this gives us the index of the cells in two dimensions and also if the matrix will be one dimensional, then we got cells uh, going from 0 to 15. Okay, so uh, I hope this was clear enough, just a brief video. Uh, if you got some question, I, uh, just write me, I hope I can answer them. And in case you wish to support the channel, you can join my Patreon and get access to a lot of cool patches. Anyway, thank you for following on this little video and see you on the next one. See you soon. Ciao.